my first experience on a piano was I had those foot pedals. Like my mom built these blocks so my feet could reach the pedals because my mom was a really great piano player. Um, as I started getting more and more into the music part of it, I, I began switching over to digital pianos because obviously one thing, you know, the exact tuning and then on the road, it was much easier to use. And it, um, it's a better piano to use live because, you know, there's so many things that happen with acoustic pianos on the road that are, you know, every time you're in a new venue, you know, the humidity changes, they go out of tune all the time. Um, so it's a real advantage for me to use uh, something like this, like a digital piano. And I love it, you know. Actually, I really love the look of this piano. I just wanted to say that. It looks beautiful. And it's all about how it looks. Who cares how you feel as long as you look good, right? <laughs> a lot of digital pianos, in my experience, have had some problems with their action. You know, I think that's one of the things that they've, they've kind of had a, a problem with. But this piano in particular, as well as a lot of the Phantoms that I've used, are unbelievable. Um, it, the sensitivity on this p particular piano is... It's fantastic, you know, and it's quick action, which I really like. Um, as a matter of fact, I like this better than my acoustic piano for action. I would just been playing it. So that's the one thing I like about this one in particular is the action. I love how the settings are, too, how you can open the lids and close the lids. And it's really great when you have an instrument, like a guitar, for instance. You can really manipulate a lot of the way a guitar sounds. With a digital piano, you've got that same opportunity. You know, with an acoustic piano, everything is basic. What you see is what you get. If you want a different sound, if you want a different kind of quality, if you want a different action, you have to switch your pianos. You know, in the studio that I'm working in right now, it has three or four acoustic pianos, and sometimes none of them are right. And with this, I mean, you can manipulate everything on one piano. And I love the idea of opening the lid and closing the lid. I love the idea of changing the sounds to an upright, to a you know, a, maybe a nine foot, maybe seven foot, and that's what makes this really great. I mean, it's obviously really, you know, great for usage in that sense. So, and plus you can change it to Hammonds and to, to organs and to saxophones. And it's just really neat. You know, the first album I ever made, I primarily did everything on an old RD600. You know, all those sounds, you know, that we did. And we made the whole record that way because that's all. I didn't have the income to make it with all these other pianos. And it's funny because I thought once we got a bigger budget to make bigger records, we would start using all the old Moogs and all the old Hammonds and all that. And really, I find that I still prefer to use things like this. One of the features on this that I've just learned is the, um, the ability to score the songs that you're recording. And for me, what I was thinking about, the, the really great, you know, the really great feature of that, obviously, is not only to obviously have one part of it and then record more parts over top of it, but to be able to get it to a composer or get it to somebody who scores music. Now, for me, I don't write, I can't, read music. I've never been able to read. Um, I know where things are supposed to be, but to, just to see it coming up on the screen and to literally have that ability to be able to say, okay, guys, these are the parts, this is what I'm trying to do, and have you know, real professionals be able to actually read the stuff you're writing, I mean, that's great. I, I think that's just a fantastic feature. So kudos to that. For me, live, okay, on the fly, obviously during a set, I like the fact that, first of all, you can name it. So you can name the song that you're playing, and then with the feature, with the pedal, you can go through your set by basically pressing a pedal, and then all the parameters of that particular song are now there, and you see the song, and you know where you are. And you can even get inside that and go to verse, to chorus, back to verse again, and all that kind of stuff. And for me, playing live, there's not a lot of opportunity to have, you know, to go back and set things up, and because you're going song after song after song, and there's special parts. And I love the idea of this being one multitaskual piece of musical in instrument that basically allows me to play all my parts and everything is all in one instrument. You know, I don't have to go to the Wurlitzer or back to the Rhodes and back to the piano. I've got it all right in here. And I love how the, the foot pedal will allow me to get through the patches of the set. So as a live piano, it's, it's brilliant. Obviously, another reason is the cartridge is extremely expensive. I mean... A lot of times, a lot of people will use the acoustic piano that's there, but you can't really rely on that. You know, every time you go to a, a gig, a lot of times people will use their pianos or they'll rent one. But you got to have your sounds the way you want to hear them. And I think for this, in this, you know, in this instance, not only is it light and has everything you want, but that's just going to save a bundle and cartridge. And I'm just talking completely financially, but you know, that's for a touring guy that would be a great feature. You know. From my experience, I'm, first of all, a little bit pedestrian as a piano player sometimes. 
but what I would try to encourage is the fact that not only is this a piano, but obviously it does everything else. And to write a song, it takes so many, many things to inspire a song. And sometimes when I'm writing, you know, a, a piano is just not enough, you know. And a lot of times what I'll write a song from is, a, is purely a drum loop, you know, or maybe it's a string patch or a Mellotron or some kind of sound, some kind of voice that actually inspires the, the writing of a song, you know. Um, a lot of the songs that I wrote on this new record were different patches. And with a piano, you're not going to, you just basically have got your acoustic piano. So what's really amazing about this is it will inspire people to sit down and get involved with the actual song, you know, and be able to sort of say, okay, well, I, if I had a drum beat, I could really, maybe I could write a really cool bass line. And, and you learn how to build and you can learn how to construct songs. And what's really been great for me with my role and, and when I first started with, like, even when I was 12 or 13 years old, is some of the sounds really did inspire some songs. And I wrote my entire first record with a Roland keyboard, um, you know, with the upright, sound from the RD600 and that's what I wrote Bad Day from you know that piano and those pianos that you hear on the record are, are the Roland sounds and what I love about things like this is again is the, the ability to have other instrumentation to inspire the songwriting so for a songwriter's you know perspective I think that's a huge asset and I think other kids and people that have only played acoustic pianos they don't get that option you know so that's what I think and I don't think much. <laughs> 